Hey everybody, it's a fantastic day to be beekeeping today. Beautiful day, about 68 degrees outside and sunny. And today we're going to take a look at these Apame hives. We're going to go and do a full inspection on all three of these hives. All right, guys, let's just start here on the edge and see what's going on in this hive. This is a queen from last year. So hopefully they're doing good. Probably should give them a little bit of smoke. Hopefully the bees are calm as well. It's a lot easier to work with the bees when they're calm. Ask any beekeeper, they'll tell you the same thing. So let's take a look and see, hopefully it's doing good. Um, just looking at the top of the hive, I can see there is bees in probably six or seven frames. So, so far, uh, it looks good just, um, just by the looks, but they say looks can be deceiving. Uh, nothing, just a little bit of nectar in here. We do have a nectar flow. It's not that big of a nectar flow, but things are coming in. So, here is some. This is all nectar, fresh nectar. Oops. This side's empty. Um, trees are blooming. Flowers not yet, but they can find a lot of nectar in trees. See, this one has some weight to it. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Lots of nectar and lots of fresh pollen. That's what you want to see. You want to see them building up. It is like March 12, 13, I don't know, 14. It's mid-March, let's say, and they're building up. Looks like really good. Actually going to put one of these frames back. I don't know why I put two out. One is just fine. It's so exciting to be in the hives this spring for the first time actually do a full inspection on the hive all right let me give them a little bit of smoke they were calm i don't know what's going on now after i moved that frame they got a little bit excited oh wow wow take a look at that wow that's a nearly perfect frame of be uh, brood look at that that queen is beautiful so i'll try to do some splits when i do out of this one because I love that kind of pattern. Look at that. Just amazing. There's some more brood on this side. See, we're only a few frames in and we see brood. And hopefully we can see the queen too. This is, like I think I mentioned last year's queen. So this got weight to it. So probably I bet that's a brood frame too. Yep. So this hive is going to need a box in probably another couple of weeks, maybe even sooner. I'll keep an eye on it. But this is just awesome. This bee is trying to sting me, but she can't get to me. Yeah, they'll definitely blow up. That's a lot of bees. Look at all that pollen. Yellow, red pollen. All kinds of orange, different colors. Wow. Awesome. Hopefully you can find the queen. I don't know. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. It just depends. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huh? There is my queen. But look at this here. That's a drone brood. Which means they're starting to produce drone brood. It's spring. Official is here. Wow, that's awesome. Look at this queen. She's a dark queen. She's right here. Beautiful queen. She's definitely doing her job here. Let's take a look at the other side. Yep, some more drone brood. Actually, most of this here is drone cells, so this is going to be... Let me see if it's laid up. Yeah, absolutely. It's larvae. So it's going to have more drones coming out. Good job, lady. There she is. Just looking for a place to lay an egg. Sticks her head in there. Let me see if she's going to lay one. She's right there. Well, I guess not. She got to find a perfect spot, clean cell. All right, that's awesome to see. This hive so far, I've probably seen what I want to see, but we'll take a look at just a couple other frames just to see if there's more brood or what's going on. There's nothing on this side. Wow, this is full of nectar. I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera, but 
full frame of nectar. So that's like a couple of frames of nectar here I've seen already, which means things are definitely going on. Things are coming in. Go slow because queen is there. That's, oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is um honey from last year. Yep, that's last year's honey. So I think I've seen everything I need to see in this hive. Definitely need to keep an eye on this hive because they're going to need a box or they're going to swarm on me like a couple of weeks from now. So hopefully all the other hives are like this, um, but we've seen everything here. Um, if you have any comments, questions, do leave them down there. We can discuss that. But now let's move to the other hive. All right, let's see what this hive has. So this queen is actually a 2022 queen. This is year three she's going into. I'm hoping she's still in here and doing well. Because if she is, I will do some splits from this hive too, this, this spring or this summer. Let me just give them a little bit of smoke. Um, usually these are really calm and she's really doing really good every year so that's why i'm hoping she's still here and everything is good so looking at this i can see four or five frames of bees but we'll take a closer look so let's just jump into here like i said it's a perfect day it's like 70 out 68 i don't know um there is no wind so might as well just take a look at this before that cold spell we got coming soon well yeah that's just a honey frame what I expected in the end, probably from last year. This is a honey frame as well. So they definitely have stores. Um, they probably need stores for another two to three weeks, and then the flow is going to be in. They'll be fine. Uh, like I said, we got a little bit of flow, but not. I wouldn't uh, count on it to, to keep the bees alive through this month of March. Also, everything seems to come early this year. Yeah, that's another honey frame. Yep. Everything seems like it's coming early. Uh, but then I say that every year because it is earlier and earlier each year. Just the weather's changing. Uh, not much here, but honey. So that's like five frames of honey. So they're definitely good. I'm hoping to see some brood. We got five frames left. Okay, so this is fresh nectar here. This just came in. You can tell this is fresh nectar. This side has does not have much. Well, they don't seem to have a lot of brood like the last one. It's definitely not as... Uh, oh, advanced as the last hive we took a look. But, again, this is all pollen. It's all I see here is pollen. And some nectar, like pollen and nectar. What that tells me, probably next frame should be brood, because they keep them most of the time. This is pollen, too. Most of the time, they keep this next to the brood, which is not a lot. I guess a couple of frames, maybe. However... That is not concerning to me because it is still early. It is only not even mid-March yet. And here we go. See? That's beautiful. These bees are about to hatch. So um, how you can tell is just this is so dark from bees walking on it. This comb, the capped comb. And for example, let's take a look at the other side. This one is not as dark. I don't know how well you can see it on, on the actual camera, but this is lighter, which means the other side will probably hatch first. But that's two sides. That's a full frame of brood, basically. I don't see the queen. Let me take a quick peek on the other side. One more time. Nope. But once these hatch, believe me, this can, the hive can be huge in just a few weeks. Sometimes it just surprises me how fast they build up. I have not fed them any of these hives, any syrup, anything like that. I try not to feed them unless I have to. I know people do to build them up um, in the spring, but they've just built up themselves 
for me all the time just enough for the flow so I don't see the need unless there is an emergency or something yes or like a split then yeah of course you need to give it some something to get started I don't see the queen on here oh yes I do spoke too soon so there's more brood here this is all laid back up so it looks like they hatched there is the queen that's a yellow dot she's a darker queen too pretty big i love this queen she's going into year three and she's still doing good looks looks like to me so i'll definitely make some splits out of, out of this one try to keep these genetics and let me take a look at that last frame so that's a couple of frames of brood which is um which is a lot to be honest once they hatch is that's a lot of bees and let me take a look at this one this is usually honey but yeah so they're keeping brood on this side so this is interesting you know why because my son comes out like on that side so it looks like the brood is on the side where the sun comes out currently and that's something i read about and i'm interested in i keep watching that and this is a lot of nectar too new nectar so looks like this hive is doing really good too so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this up and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the last hive again any comments anything let me know down at the bottom all right now we're at the last but not least and hopefully this one's doing good as well but we'll only wait one way to find out get in here and check uh, i don't know why i don't have these on here again give them a little bit of smoke move this out of the way and this one looks like a couple of frames of brood here and here. But like I said, we'll take a look at all of these frames just to make sure we know what's in here and what they need. How we can assist. This is heavy. Yep, it's all honey. This is another honey frame. So stores are good. I'm happy to see that. This is definitely empty. Nothing in here. It's too light. Yeah, it looks like this one might be quick. <laughs> so this one is full of pollen and some nectar up, up here in the corner. What that tells me, guess what? Next frame is probably brood. It's not always right, but a lot of times it is. Let me give them a little bit of smoke. I don't wanna, don't wanna kill any bees. I love these apame hives too. These hives are fantastic, man. If you don't have one, I know they're a little bit pricey, but they're definitely worth the price. Look at that. We've got brood. Yep, down here is fresh eggs around. Which means Queen is here and she's laying. Let's see if we can spot her. Yeah, that's some more brood and this is laid up. This is larvae in here. This hatched out. I like the pattern. Um, this might be deceiving to some people. But this is all laid up. Um, it, it just bees might have hatched before and then she just laid it back up at different times. So this is not a bad pattern. If you look at this, you can see she's doing really good. But like I said, some people, especially when you start beekeeping, everything looks wrong. Believe me, believe me, I know. Been, a, been there. All right, hold on, ladies. Let me get in here. They are fairly calm, to be honest. Just a couple of bees jumping up here, but nothing crazy. So let's see. Hopefully, Queen is in this frame. Yeah, it got some weight to it, so probably brood again. Yep. 
Oh, there she is. There is the queen. She is right there. She's last year's queen. She's definitely doing really good. So this frame is brood. They got stores. They got a couple of frames of brood. So they're building up. They're fine. Like I said, I, I didn't feed them any syrup or anything. They could have maybe built up faster, but I'm fine with this. They'll be fine just in time for the flow. Um, sometimes when you feed them, you build them up too much. Uh, they swarm a lot or they swarm quicker. So you got to be really careful with that too. I'm not telling you how to do anything. I'm just telling you my experiences in beekeeping. Let's take a look at, <clears throat> excuse me, let's take a look at one more frame here. Wow, this is all fresh nectar, full of fresh nectar. So there is definitely a flow out there. Not the best flow, but it's coming. It'll be here before long. All right. Let me put this back. Uh, let me take a look at this last frame. Yeah, just honey. That's what I expected. This is honey as well. And I think we've seen everything we want to see in this one too. Like I said, these apame hives definitely overwinter bees better than just your standard laying hive, in my opinion, just because it's better built. It's got more insulation and there is no draft in between uh, the boxes. So let me put this one back together now. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. It is fantastic to get in here and see these bees again in action it's only going to get busier going forward and as you can see they're a little bit agitated jumping on the mic because it is getting a li little later in the evening so i'll leave them alone but if you have any questions any comments or anything just please leave them down below and we'll um talk about it so um i hope your bees are doing well and you're doing well and i will see you on the next video um really soon all right happy beekeeping